foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash berlinexplorer. So welcome to 50 Minutes of Experience. Today I'm with Christopher Trochi from Oregon. Welcome to uh, Christopher. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, really good. And uh, for you? Um, yeah, things are great. I mean, I don't think any amount of complaining could change my situation. So I just, uh, I'm going to be positive about it, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, can you tell us a bit, uh, uh, something about you then, uh, where, where are you, where, what you do and, uh, something more information about you than, uh, the listener doesn't know you, they can know better who you are. And then, uh, we can go a bit more, uh, inside of your, uh, work. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, my name is Christopher Trochi. I will be turning 40 in October. I'm a photographer living in uh, Oregon. Uh, I travel as much as I can. And if you run into me nine times out of 10, I'm going to put a camera in your face. <laughs> So um, your work is, is mainly make uh, uh, made on reportage, as I see, and uh, uh, there are different uh, kind of work you do it. Uh, in the link you send me, I have uh, read a bit about you and watched some uh, pictures. But uh, what I'm really interested to talk uh, with you is more the experience you do it as a photographer, not uh, a lot uh, to talk about images in this case, because I think it's probably to talk... Uh, about the experience you get in touch every time you work on something. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. So uh, have you some experience you want uh, in particular share with us, something touched you or something you would love to share about you did uh, recently or not? Um, do you mean like a specific amount of work or uh, an experience? Yeah, experience more um, in the human way also. It's, uh, not only as a photographer, but also as a, as, a, as a human in this case. Yeah, sure. I think that uh, something I could talk about is uh, it's like ever changing is that um, you have to introduce yourself. Like you have to put yourself in the situation to get photographs. And I think that the best way to do that, and like in my experience with uh, like street portraiture, for instance, is not being afraid to hear the word no. And so when you go out, it's really like, I think like the thing people ask me the most about is just like, how do you, you know, or uh, what, how do you go out and photograph? <laughs> you know, how do you introduce yourself to strangers and things like that? And, um, I think the big hurdle is just being able to uh, hear somebody say no and be perfectly fine with that. And then I actually, I think it's kind of funny too, because a lot of times people might say no, and then they expect you to like have this like campaign to try to, you know, change their mind. And I don't at all. I just walk away. I just say thank you. And I walk away. And it's funny because I've definitely caught people kind of like shocked by that. But the reality of it is, like as a photographer, I'm out there making work. Like I'm out there doing something and it's a, it's a collaborative effort um, with the people that I run into. And so um, making sure that, I don't know. I mean, like the whole concept is about humanity. And uh, like, if I'm working with, uh, you know, a person on doing a portrait, like we're in this together. And I think almost like most of the time, I would say like more times than not, people are just kind of excited that you are interested in them. And you get a little opportunity to uh, grow humanity with like every, you know, every oper or every photograph you take. So I don't know. I mean, there's that. I, I think that that's an important thing. And most of the time, I think other people kind of catch on to that. Yeah, totally. I agree with you. And uh, uh, I mean, I there is I think thousands of stories to talk with you about because I, I've seen you you got in touch with a lot of people. You have a lot of people in your photograph, and uh, I I would love uh, to ask you. So what what attracts you a lot in getting in touch with people in general? Um, 
Well, I mean, I can't, I can speak for myself with, with photography and I think everybody's looking for some kind of understanding of place and meaning in our lives. And I think like, you know, with my background, uh, I, maybe it may, with, so I, uh, I studied journalism at the university and I think, you know, it's just, or maybe even it's kind of like a, a psychology student, like you really start doing that stuff to kind of like figure out yourself. And I think the reason I'm drawn to, uh, you know, doing street portraits and uh, just, uh, you know, kind of like journalistic work is I'm figuring myself out. And so I think when I, I when somebody strikes me, it's probably because I'm fam it's familiar to me and, and there's something comforting about uh, the qualities that I run into out there. And yeah, so I think that's, I think that's kind of what it is. It's more figuring out um, the, the similarities that hold us all together versus the things that polarize us away from each other. And so I think that the more people I come into contact with, the better understanding I have uh, in and, general. And do, you, and do you spend uh, time with people you shoot or, uh, yeah, or it's just, I mean, spend time for sure you spend time, but uh, I mean, uh, uh, in the, you spend a long time with them or uh, just the time of shooting and just a talk, a small talk and go away? Um, yeah, so, I mean, it, it's a mixed bag, 100%. Like, I mean, it, like, <laughs> I, get, I mean, I've definitely been in the situation where I've taken a quick photo and then that was, you know, I said, thank you. And, you know, that was kind of it. But other times I've definitely gotten into a conversation and hung out for like 30, 40 minutes. And then other times, like when um, it's maybe like a little bit more of a formal setting. Uh, I mean, yeah, I could be there for hours. Like it really, you know. I, I think a lot, oftentimes, like when I'm working with um, like an older, uh, an older person, a more experienced person, um, it takes a little bit of time. Uh, oh, that being said, though, I really do try to take the photo, like a photo right away. And then uh, because like, I, I, well, why I'm not sure, but I just feel like uh, when you first meet somebody like you're never going to have that you know first impression and it's kind of like catching that first impression is important sometimes after a conversation um the per like the photograph like uh, another photograph is necessary because you saw something uh in that person that kind of came to the surface while you were talking like they lit up or you know you, people's demeanor can change so easily so yeah uh i guess what i'm trying to say is Sometimes I'll take a photo and be gone. Other times I might take a few photos. And then, you know, when I go through the edit, then I kind of decide which photo uh, is the best explanation, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understood what you mean. Uh, and um, another thing I wanted to know more exactly, uh, did, you wrote me that you travel a lot. And uh, when you travel, uh, you travel for photography or so to make project in photography or just because, yeah, you have something. I mean, you can have another work, probably another job, uh -huh. and then uh, you travel more. Um, yeah, so what I try to do as much as possible is um, take on, like, so I do uh, commercial and um like lifestyle photography, um, but in, you know, I don't like advertise, it's like word of mouth and it, like, you know, the more I do it, the more busy I am, mm -hmm. but it's really all just a vehicle to be able to travel and do more photos it, because I, like I said, I'm doing photos like every day. Like if I, if I don't get out and take a photo and, um, you know, like that kind of it puts me in a funk. So it's like uh, there's like a, a quality of life aspect of it. And um, as I, you know, as a creator, I think any kind of creator, uh, it's really important that we stay busy. So yeah, so I do a lot of traveling for work, and I, I mean, I will 
I mean, I've gotten, I've, I, I drove to Florida, you know, to, to do like a simple photo uh, setup, but it really wasn't, it didn't have anything for me. It was like the photos were an important aspect of life or whatever, but like it was to be able to travel that whole distance and uh, see how many different people I could run into along the way and, you know, just document, you know, just document and, you know, continue the process of figuring uh, myself out through these photos. Yeah. So um, there is uh, uh, something uh, you will like to experience in the in your uh, near future that you never experienced before because of, uh, I don't know, sometimes we are trapped in our uh, daily time and uh, we never have time or, uh, you know, the right moment to doing that. Um, okay, I can, let me, let me try that a couple of ways. So like, first off, like the only reason we don't do the things we want is because we tell ourselves it's not important enough. And I, the older I get, um, the more I realize it's like, we definitely have this life to live. And I think we should make this life what we want it to be. And um, like, if I can think of, I mean, I could probably dream up a million different scenarios where I could do something that I haven't done, you know, photographically to go work or um, intern or, you know, something like that with like some sort of uh, photography firm and get the opportunity to spend time around other professional photographers and just kind of see, you know, what their process is like. Like I try to, I definitely, I, yeah, I find I'm, I'm interested in that quite a bit seeing how, um, Uh, Blake Andrews is a photographer that I appreciate and um, something that he said that I think really stuck out is that photography is like a really isolating uh, or it can be an extremely isolating process and so I don't know I guess I try to balance that out with uh, re you know getting yes. in touch with other people's I style. Think, I, th I think yeah in, in the beginning it was uh, like that Photography was an isolating process, but uh, I think it's also an inclusive process. And uh, this is probably what I think uh, uh, I'm uh, looking uh, for uh, doing this project is uh, to let understand that photography could not have any value uh, for us if we could not share with others uh, that photography. I mean, not uh, sharing in the way like we share on Instagram, but the point is also sharing the the picture with the, the person more close to us uh, is uh, is uh, a kind of inclusive things and it's not only an isolation uh, of a process so yeah it can be an isolation in a way like we are thinking about uh, what we portray when we have uh, today the time to think that because i think uh today we don't have any more the patience and the time to watch that picture as probably <laughs> they was doing uh, in the past and uh, especially to share to really share these pictures and that's why this podcast also born to to talk about what uh, what is behind one picture what is behind the whole beautiful picture you do it every day because then uh, this the, this become an automatization of your work i mean Today, it's really easy to produce beautiful images. Uh, and I ask always more and more to myself, which are the story behind all of these pictures? What these people want to say? I mean, I'm a photographer too. And uh, from the moment uh, that my teacher years ago told me uh, that uh, what can make the difference between you and another is uh, to know why you shoot photography, and what you want to say with because today yeah there are people uh, really unbelievable good in uh, shooting images and so that's why yeah. i started this podcast i wanted to ask to every photographer or in, in any case also i talk with the uh, publisher or models uh, what for them is behind the picture what is for them the experience they do it during the picture what is uh, uh, the process or um, something touch us deeply 
Yeah, I I agree with you. I think that, um, like you know, in my experience, every photographer is coming at it from the only way the or the the way only they can do it. Um, I you know something else I suggest and oh I, I wanted to comment that uh, you know with your professor or your teacher talking about um, you know why you do it, um, not having to explain it, but it, your work shows it. It's like self evident. Um, I, something that I like, I've been told about the work I do is I produce volume. Like I produce a lot of work and, um, and it's not to say it's all good necessarily. Um, and it's also not to say I'm wasteful in making images. Uh, but I think that, uh, you know, Bruce Gilden is another photographer that I think is great. And he said something uh that stuck out in my mind that um you know you can have a, a picture of a like an ashtray or something and you know by itself there's nothing to it but if you had a couple hundred or maybe a thousand pictures of ashtrays then this uh this story kind of comes out of it uh all of its own so i i think that people maybe some maybe sometimes people get too hung up on like one image and um, they're kind of maybe selling themselves short by doing more of an exploration. Um, and I, you know, like maybe that's what, what's going on with me is, you know, I don't think I'll ever get tired of uh, stopping strangers and asking them if they would mind if I took their photograph, you know? And it's funny because they'll ask me why. And uh, the reason's always the same It's uh, because I'm figuring something out. And I think that it's just like anything, like once you, you know, find like, I don't know, maybe you've worked on a car or maybe you've, maybe you're into crossword puzzles or something, but there was that time when it clicked and it made sense. And then you just wanted to do it more and more and more and more um, because it's like a, um, an accomplishment. So I don't know, maybe that's it. And then, I do worry, so to kind of jump off of that, like I do worry though that I need to be more targeted. So something I've been doing recently is creating like smaller topics yeah. and then uh, working within that topic for, amount, for an amount of time and then giving myself a new topic. And so then I, you know, I do that. Like I'll, I'll get into a rut and I will be like, um, only producing photographs of uh, men, for instance, or like, or I'll realize that I'm not really being uh, like, maybe I'm not being as representative or um, representative of a group. Um, and so like, I'll try to like be conscientious of that. And I also, uh, I'll ask, you know, people that I know, hey, you know, what do you think? What do you think's missing? Like, what do you think, that, what, what's an angle that, you don't think that I'm, or that you don't see me uh, exploring as much. And I don't know, I think it's important for anybody to take feedback and give yourself the opportunity to give oh, feedback. So I, give, uh, I give you a feedback if you want. Yeah, sure. Give me some feedback. That'd be great. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, the, your work yeah, for sure. It's uh, aesthetically really, really good. It's, uh, I mean, the structure is really good. Uh, of your work the only things i feel uh, it's it's a bit missed uh, is uh, i mean it's, this is my uh, just feeling about that in many of uh, the last picture you did um there, there are you are there but uh, in a way like uh, in a rush and uh, i feel like you you many of portraits i've seen that you are just taking the portrait and go and uh, and uh, in a way the people are posing and reaction they are posing uh, unconsciously for a reaction to your uh, gentle uh, asking to doing a picture and that's it but uh, i don't see the connection the real connection probably you had in many pictures uh, uh, you did uh, before and uh, and this is something i i probably miss to see in your picture I don't see anymore the connection, you know, deep connection you you had before with the with the subject. Yeah, I I think that that is true. Most times, um, 
Um, I think like part of the premise for what I'm doing is, uh, uh, so for instance, the, I'm currently working on, this is like a long, a long-term project uh, called Face Me. And the concept is uh, about looking, uh, looking people in the eye. I think that most of the time we're, you know, caught up in our phones or uh, we're thinking about something else. And we've really like seem to, as a society, um, get away from uh, showing people dignity and respect um, that we don't know. And so I think oftentimes, like when I, I'm talking with somebody, they're more surprised that somebody is engaging them in a conversation. And so maybe that's what I'm capturing with that initial, you know, photo is just what it looks like to look somebody in the eye um, that you don't know. And I, I mean, I don't know what, I mean, that's just, I, until I started doing this project, I don't, I can't really think of, I mean, I don't think that was part of my, I tried, I probably tried not to talk to people as much as I talk to people if that makes any sense. So maybe that's why, I'm not sure. But I, I'll, I thank you for the feedback. I'll give it some more thought, I'm sure. Yeah, this, I mean, it's, uh, the picture are really good. And uh, it's, uh, it's only the, about uh, the, a deeper feeling uh, and emotion feeling. Uh, if, if I have to consider them uh, that uh, you are there uh, just uh, for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes, it's okay. I mean, they portray uh, these, these people you get in touch with. But uh, uh, yeah, I have seen that uh, that uh, when you work uh, um, on some pictures, uh, uh, that you are more inside of the scene, uh, the results okay. are totally different. I mean, you know what what is the difference? I think is uh, that uh, when you are technically good, the real next step is to in a way, put the technique in the, in the trash and uh, put yourself in front of that. I mean, not materially, but uh, but uh, emotionally. Right. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with you. I think that, um, yeah, and I mean, there's like different kinds of photos out there. If you're going to sit down, like if somebody hires you to come to an environmental portrait of them, that's a lot different than meeting somebody that's you know just on the way to the coffee shop you know because there's you know different levels of uh understanding that are necessary for both of those tasks you know if i'm gonna like a, a biologist you know for their uh personal weapon on you know what it, it you know like get those background things and then really kind of uh, dig in to that person's person but I think doing street portraiture uh, it's that's it's those those processes are not the same at all and um, I don't know I think maybe there's a photograph uh, I put on my Instagram that is of this guy smoking a cigarette and that was a that was a split second photograph but I'm not sure that I've ever taken a photograph that connects with somebody deeper and so i don't know maybe if you uh, get a chance go check that out and uh you know give me some more feedback okay i mean i i just be a be a bit more shorter because our time is going uh, to the limit uh, but i think um, uh i feel uh, the the real connection you put uh, it's uh, especially in the in the um, pictures where uh, there are no subject or there is uh, one of this uh, child is uh, on the bike this touched me a lot because it's i think it's exactly uh, to see you in a way oh was this the one where the kid was standing next to his bicycle yeah or like he was yeah yeah you know i remember that photo and it was cool because i was out uh doing portraits one morning and then these two uh these two little guys were uh riding their bikes around and they noticed me and uh he came over and he's like hey uh do you want to take my photo and i was like you betcha <laughs> and uh so yeah like that and then out of that day that was like yeah I, I, that was a great photograph i'm really glad that worked out that way 
Yeah, it's, and I think it's 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 really you. I mean, uh, you know, uh, photography in a way it's a, it's a really easy tool uh, to shoot. Uh, uh, it's really easy. Everyone can shoot today, and everyone more and more can shoot a really good images. But uh, what make I think uh, really the difference uh, is uh, when you can start to read an images without reading anything else. And uh, in a way or another, yeah. also if you cannot find the words uh, to describe that images, uh, the picture in a way is installing something inside of your mind. And uh, is a mix between uh, the knowledges we have and uh, the knowledges we have about our body connection. So it's about our emotion and our emotion most of the time they don't have words to be described. And uh, this is, I think, the moment that we are really getting in touch with the photograph we are doing and other people are doing. When uh, we have just to look without think. Yeah, I think that's great. And I think that, you know, there's a good saying for that. A picture's worth a thousand words. Um, yeah, you know, maybe sometimes leaving the words behind and just uh, exploring the images is the most important thing. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing um, <laughs> with this project <laughs> in the end. Yeah. yeah so, I so and I, I wanted to compliment you too. I think this is a great project. I love the work that you guys are putting out. Um, I'm a big fan. I hope to uh, see more and more work come out uh, of your guys' camp that is along these lines. And I, you know, I'm going to do what I can to uh, be as supportive as possible. I think what you're doing is amazing and I appreciate you 100%. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. So, uh, this was our podcast uh, with um, Christopher Troshi. And I thank you a lot and uh, it was nice to meet you. And uh, I hope to doing another podcast in the future. Probably we will talk uh, how much you will uh, connect uh, with the people in the near future. Because I think in a way or another, something always is unblocked inside of someone when we talk about that. And uh, I'm also, I will be surprised to see much more about your work. As you said, you don't have the website. So then I will uh, keep on your Instagram and continue to follow the, what you are doing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I took my Instagram, or I, excuse me, I took my website down. I kind of started to do some rethinking about how I want that space to exist. So be on the lookout for a new website. It is going to happen. I, I am really concentrating on project work right now. And I think that I'll have something uh, to be able to share with people uh, more permanently than what I had before. So yeah, man, thank you so much. And I will be out there photographing and creating more work. And I would love to visit with you again in the future. Uh, and maybe uh, talk about something different. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> okay, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you, too. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash Berlin Explorer or visit our Instagram and follow Berlin Explorer Project 